Now let's take a look at the bad trucks. Okay, so first off, we have these two scrap cars suggested by Croven Gate Productions. If you might know who these are, these two are none other than Seth and Green Eyes, Dumb and Dumber. So Seth and Green Eyes were two trucks from Train Heaven, and they are bad trucks. Only they are dumb. Originally, Seth was going to be the most dumb because he would change his faces despite the wrong situation he's in. But that didn't happen. And Harry was originally going to be painted green, but that didn't happen either. Same thing goes with Frost facing backwards, but he faces forwards. So yeah. But on to Seth and Green Eyes. The only thing I had to do was put faces on these scrap cars. That's all there is to Seth and Green Eyes. But they got out of Train Heaven, surprisingly. I can't tell if these Train Heaven villains who got out have like their own game. Or if they might join Boulder's army. But we'll have to see in Medieval Misadventures. And here we have Rex's new model. So, if you don't know, I took the old version of Rex and painted it into Sonic here. So that's kind of a shocker. So Rex looks a little bit better. He's the same skinny size as Junk is. And now I've got all five of Dread and the original characters from the Tale of Trucks movie, from the Bad Trucks. So... Wreck is made out of the same box car that I used to make Cricket, which is like an orange green box car. This was the same thing for Cricket, only I painted Cricket blue like he is in the truck movie 3. Yeah, so I think Wreck looks a little better, and I'm glad I made Wreck this scale. So I've got Fungus. Brick, Junk, and Wreck together. Fungus, Junk, and Wreck died in the Tale of Trucks movie, but they were brought back. And Harry also died, but he was brought back. Okay, now let's move on to a new character who is appearing in Medieval Misadventures Season 3. This is Zero, the Blue Mountain Quarry Truck, the truck counterpart of Timothy. So I think this custom of Zero looks pretty good. Now, Zero doesn't have a gang yet, but it will be kind of interesting if he joins Timothy and his League of Villains. So yeah, he was made out of the Blue Mountain Quarry Choppers truck. This is my second one. If you don't know, I used a Blue Mountain Quarry Choppers truck to make Rotten here, the good furnace truck. Now I've got Zero. So all I have to do is paint him gray, write his name in red. And give him that face. Now, those eyes look pretty creepy, I'm not going to lie. But I still like how Zero turned out. If I get the chance, I will eventually buy another demolition team to pack. And turn that Blue Mountain Quarry Truck into shock. I also think I might turn the Scruffy into Piper. One of Kelvin Rogers' original characters. He's put into, like, gay Shapeways truck body which is the same as Harry, and make it into Piper. But now on to this truck. So this is one of the bad furnace trucks from Freedom's Gang. And this truck is named Gideon. So this was made out of the Demolition Team Scruffy, if you guess by the face. Now let me just bring in Bobby here. So Gideon looks a lot like Bobby because they both have white stripes and they're made out of scruffy models. Only Bobby has like an open mouth and he's painted blue. Gideon on the other hand is painted black. So about Gideon's character. So before Gideon revealed himself evil, Scaredy changed his name to Gideon because his original name was Geogen. That's G-I-O and then G-E-N. Geogen. But he thought that was a stupid name, so Scary changed it to Gideon, which I think was smart of him to do. Although it was kind of shocking that 
Gideon revealed himself to be evil, along with Freedom and a couple other furnace trucks. Sometimes I like to call Bobby the replacement good truck for Gideon, which is kind of funny. Anyways, that's Bobby, and here's Gideon. We have two more left. Alright, so this is a white Jawbreakers car whose name is Jesse. No I, though. There's no I in this Jesse. Jesse, like in the boy name. So, Jesse is the replacement bad truck for Taylor from Freedom's Gang, but he was able to get out. Now, sadly, Freedom, as well as Mother Gruesome and Father Torture, weren't out of train heaven. But that's probably because they died permanently, so they can't escape. Dread died permanently also, but his spirit is in the living world next to Scary and like Gay Shadow. But anyways, Jesse looks a lot like Wildfire, only he carries Jawbreakers. Only this was made from the Thomas Wood Gumdrop car. Because it would have been kind of hard to find the Gumball car. I do believe Kellen Rogers has Jesse. So, now we have both Jesse and Zoe. We just need Bossy, and then we'll have all three replacements for Boxer, Lena, and Taylor in Freedom's Gang. Last bad truck we have, and the last truck for now, is Steel Tooth, which was suggested by Ryan Helm. Now, originally, he was a circus train, but I am took that body off and made his body out of Legos. The same thing I did to make power. And I stuffed the chassis on with Gorilla Glue. So, also, I wanted to mention that Kelvin Rogers had freedom with a new chassis, but he took that chassis off of his own original character, which is a Bachman tinker with a wind-up troublesome truck face. He says he's getting a new chassis to replace that, but I'm very glad he made freedom. And I'm also interested in him mating. I'm also interested that he made Mother Gruesome and Father Torture. Sorry if I stuttered there. But he has made Freedom's parents as well as Freedom herself. So, Kevin Rogers said that Freedom as well as her parents are going to be good in his series. But t for me, they're going to stay evil. Oh yeah, and Horde Hookies right there. I forgot to show him in my last video. The problem with Horde Hookie I'm having right now is this string keeps breaking like I had to put it on with tape. Now I'm not sure if I should buy like a new breakdown crane to make Horde Hookie or if I should just keep him how he is. But maybe you guys can tell me. Because I do plan to make Chuckler as well as his sister. Those two are breakdown cranes. Anyways, that's all I have to say for this custom truck showcase. Let me know which truck was your favorite. And before I leave, let me show you the faces. So the trucks that you can comment and ask me to make are Shock, Giggler, Chuckler, the unnamed Ice Cream Man, then we've got Ralph and Nathan, there's Angus, I do plan to make Crayon also. Then here is Bailey, Coco, Jojo, the two gold mine rickies with no name, Hefty, Greed, Anger, Wrath, the four red trucks. Then we have Trucker, Bossy, Calvin, and Hobbs. We have the Truck Ninjas. There's Tanner, an unnamed truck with a green tarp. We have Crosby and Cooper, the dynamite trucks. We have Morgan and the gold truck with no name. Then we have Nigel, Clark, and Chester's brother. That's all I have to say for this custom model segment. Stay tuned for more trucks as well as my Hornby Lady, which is coming soon. Thanks for watching, and this is Tammy Tate 2009 signing off.